Welcome back to GearWire.com. I'm Bill Holland, and I'm here at Mosaic Music Studios with Kate Simcoe. Kate, thanks for joining me. Thank you very much. <laughs> and we're looking at the mastering process, how Kate takes her tracks out of Logic and Ableton and then back into Logic with the Waves mastering plugins. That's right. So, for example, um, I'm taking the track that we were looking at in Ableton, and I'm going to mix the track here, and I master the track here. So what I do is I bounce every individual track from Ableton, and I bring them into Logic. And then inside of Logic, I remix everything so the levels are correct, and I add effects. So, for example, I'm going to listen. Um, here I have... I have a higher percussive sound, and I realized that in this sound, I actually needed quite a bit of EQing. There was more low end in the sound than I wanted, and there was a frequency around 1,000 hertz that I realized if I could bring that out, it stood out in the mix better than it did um, previously. So I put you know, this wave plug in here, first with the EQ, and then secondly, what I do is um, I have a filter on it, and just on this specific track. I um, I have the cut out the cutoff frequency at like seventy five percent instead of one hundred percent. So again, I'm I'm using you know the effects and logic and waves plugins um, in lieu of the Ableton ones. Also because we have really nice speakers here, I I can um, use the Genelec monitors along with the Mackies. I have the Mackie. HR824s at home, um, but I don't have the Genelec. So in, in this environment, I'm able to um, listen to both different, I'm, I'm able to listen to two different monitors and, and hear one that's closer to the sound in a club and one that's closer to um, the home listening experience. Okay, so you're using two different forms of monitoring and the main reason for that is to see how it sounds in a different source. Yes. Okay. And that's really good advice for anybody setting up their home studio. Obviously, a lot of people don't have that option. In your case, you come out here because even in your home studio, you don't have both sizes of speaker. You don't have the Genelex and the Mackies. You just have the Mackie. Right. That's right. And even um, after this, what I'll do is I'll burn a CD after I make the mix here. And my final test is always putting a CD in the trunk of my car and playing it in my, in my car because... I know how different songs sound, and if I did a, gr a good job on it, the bass isn't going to be distorted, and it's it's going to sound um, pretty comparable to other CDs that I, uh, electronic music that's you know somewhat similar to mine. I can listen one next to the other and, and get an idea in, with you know crappy speakers too. Those are actually a, a great test. I, I, after you use your best monitors, I think um, it's a good tip to use some horrible monitors and see what it sounds like on a crappy stereo or in your car. Well, thanks, Kate. That's great advice. And we're here at Mosaic Music Studios with Kate Simcoe. And uh, thank you for spending so much time with us talking about the recording and mastering process. Thank you. I had a great time. Thanks. Join us again at GearWire.com for more. You can look back and see clips of Kate performing at this year's Movement 2007. I'm Bill Holland, and this is GearWire.com. <laughs>